you know, surrounded by technology everywhere like this, whether it's 3D or uh, printing or, or computing or different kinds of augmented reality glasses, it's going to be everywhere. And there's no way to stop that, really. We need to put this into the right perspective, right? It's a question of balance. And I think we're going to move in the future where we're going to do a bit of rewilding, right? Where we have to go back and see a human renaissance, like we did in the 15th century and 16th century and 17th century as well, in Italy and in Europe. You know, going back to connecting with nature, with other people. You know, so many people have more relationships with their screen than they have with other people. I mean, that's pathetic. This is not what we are, it's not what we want, uh, it's not what we should be striving for. It's really, really important that we, we rewild, right? We go back to, the, to nature and reconnect to nature uh, as we're moving to that future where everything is connected, everything is mobile, and cell phones are everywhere, and computers are everywhere, and in a certain point what I call the sofalarity, not the singularity, where we do everything with remote control from our sofa. And then we have virtual reality and the metaverse, right? the amazing metaverse, right? nature deficit disorder. Right? This is officially a disease. We need to bring our kids back to nature, back to each other, and still use devices. It's a question of balance. Right? We have to come together and say, okay, how do we do this? How do we bring all these amazing, amazing things about technology that I described in one of the first slides, and what makes us human? How, how do we bring that together, right? Intuition, emotions, imagination, ethics, empathy, consciousness. Uh, machines don't do any of those things. This is what makes us, right? Humans are defined by experiences, by emotions, by relationships, right? By things that aren't on the computing side.